Hello everyone! It is a beautiful day and I am driving up to the Mount Wilson Observatory. The weather this time of year has been very nice and warm and I drove back to California to take advantage of this incredibly clear weather. Mount Wilson is located in Southern California. On a clear day we can see out for about 80 to 90 miles away. But before we can enjoy those views we have to keep our eyes on the road because it's quite a dangerous road like right now. <laughs> I almost ram into the back of that car. Uh, these roads are kind of dangerous and uh, it doesn't help when all these race cars come up here. Mount, whoa, there's another guy. Here they are. Oh my god. I hope they don't wreck. People are nuts, man. Okay. So let's speed up the footage because uh, it, uh, it takes a while to get up here. Believe it or not, there are people driving this fast on this road. I was coming down off the mountain one time and a Porsche or something was speeding up this road. I couldn't believe it. Just crazy teenagers, you know? Unbelievable. I believe uh, Mount Wilson Observatory is open uh, most of the year, unless there is probably um, snow. But um, yeah, it's a really great destination and there's a lot of tourists and you can grab a bite to eat up here. It is really um, a nice spot to uh, visit and uh, we're almost there. Last time I was up here, I did not have my infrared telescope uh, and I saw things that uh, got me curious. So today I decided to stop uh, right here on the side of the road so I can just set up close to the car and not have to carry my uh, equipment. And um, it was quite, uh, quite a view from up here. Wow, what a view. Anyway, I'm setting up. Today I came prepared with all of my instruments. I have my uh, tripod for the theodolite and I brought my uh, telescope, which you've seen before, with the infrared camera. And uh, I am ready to look out in the direction of uh, San Diego because last time I was here, I saw something in that direction that got me curious. Have a look at this. There's the mountain. I'm here at... Our world is so incredibly flat, it is unbelievable, and the views from up here are just stunning. In the distance we can see the Catalina Island and beyond it San Clemente. Just incredible. Wow. Now as I was panning to the left, uh, I began to wonder if I can see San Diego. And um, I, uh, I can clearly see the ocean. And then I started zooming in and that's when I noticed there's land features way in the distance. Wow, look at that. We can definitely see something across the water there. Wow. I uh, wasn't sure what, what I was seeing. Um, 
it was um, a bit uh, hazy and inconclusive but I spotted the Coronado Islands there they are South Coronado on the left and North Coronado I was just blown away wow so this time I brought my infrared telescope because I want to look in that direction Catalina and San Clemente beyond are just so clearly visible. Unbelievable. Yeah, this spot is uh, something else. And um, there's the northern side of uh, Catalina. Just incredible. It's like, I don't know, 80, 70, 80 miles out. There's a plane going to plane. LAX right there. Um, I just love this area. Look how flat it is in the distance. Oh my goodness. And um, seeing people superimposed to uh, this view is just <laughs> unbelievable. Look at that. There's people on top of Los Angeles. Los Angeles is right down there. What a perspective. Oh, I just love this area. And of course, we are seeing the world in infrared. Infrared can open up the world like never before. That is the island of Santa Barbara, way out there. Look how clear we can see it. It was hardly visible in uh, the visible spectrum. So infrared can pierce through the haze and, uh, you know, enables us to see the world with new eyes. I began to wonder how far I'm seeing and uh, since the telescope has such a narrow field of view I set out to create a panorama but first I took each image and using the software Registax I processed a number of uh, video clips and extracted uh, really clear um, images and then assembled them into a panorama. Enjoy my friends, this is one of the best panoramas that I've ever created. <laughs> can see clearly into Mexico folks unbelievable this just left me stunned I couldn't believe it I was just hoping to see San Diego the detail is just incredible and uh, past Mount Soledad we can see Mission Bay and um, Point Loma just incredible folks I did not expect this. It was a pleasant surprise. In Google Earth, we get a sense of uh, how far we are seeing. Um, it's just incredible that we're seeing the meseta in Mexico. Wow! But if that wasn't enough, while processing my footage, I found out that I could be seeing even farther away. While analyzing footage between um, Point Loma and the Coronado Islands, uh, I spotted land and that has to be way down in Baja, California. Unbelievable. Have a look at this, folks.
far uh, because our observations tell us that uh, you know something limits our visibility and per the current theory the globe theory it is the curvature of the surface assuming straight line propagation or near straight line the current theory does allow for some downward refraction but that's not what happens folks what limits our visibility on the flat earth is upward refraction and infrared has two benefits the first benefit is um, infrared lets us see through atmospheric haze so we increase that signal to noise ratio and we can see farther than in the visible spectrum but the second benefit is more important Infrared is less affected by refraction, this upward refraction that limits our uh, visibility on the flat Earth. And uh, that's why we can see that much farther in infrared, you know. If you look at the photo with the prism, um, the longer wavelength uh, bend less, okay. And... Um, if you look at the second inset, uh, you can see why we cannot see, um, you know, at infinity. For example, light from that tower from different heights uh, curving the gradient of the atmosphere and hit the ground, you know. And that gives us the impression that uh, we live on a globe if we imagine that light travels in a straight line. So light bends because there is a variation in the index of refraction with uh, altitude and at shallow angles um, that affects the propagation significantly. However, if we observe at steep angles, the surface of the earth is incredibly flat. Now, some people have doubts whether the index of refraction increases going up. They think it decreases. In the third inset down below, I showed the ideal gas line rearranging. We get a ratio of P over T equal to something that is proportional to the index of refraction. Or is it? You see, my friends? The atmosphere is a lot more complicated than this ideal gas law. There is water vapor and the temperature changes, um, creates condensates. Um, and so those have higher index of refraction. And so the atmosphere uh, actually bends light upwards, indicating that the index of refraction increases. It does not decrease with altitude. Okay, it increases, meaning that the velocity of propagation is slower the higher we go. And so the wavefront curves upward, right? Higher up, it moves slower. Down below, where it's warmer, it moves faster. And so it curves up gradually. And uh, that's why... Um, we cannot see in the distance. I will have more to say about this in future videos after I complete my drone experiments and I will demonstrate everything. So behold the flat earth my friends. Let this sink in. Our world is just incredible. Yes my friends we live in God's wonderful biosphere that he has created for us just astounding be safe out there my friends and i'll see you in the next video god bless you